Peter Gulick C never made a first-team appearance for Liverpool, but four years after leaving Merseyside he has become one of the Bundesliga's most reliable goalkeepers. If you were looking for Gulick C seven years ago this week, you would have found him around four miles south of Liverpool at Tranmere Rovers' Prenton Park. He was on loan from the Premier League side, sliding deeper into a League One relegation dogfight as Tranmere lost 30 to Brentford in front of just under 5,000 fans. At Borussia Dortmund's Signal Iduna Park on Saturday, Gulek C stood between the posts for RB Leipzig in front of 75,000. The 27-year-old made a string of crucial, if not spectacular saves, as Dortmund's run of 41 Bundesliga home games unbeaten came to an end in a 32 defeat, bringing Leipzig to within three points of the league leaders. Gulek's performances this season have seen him ranked by Kicker magazine as the best Bundesliga goalkeeper at present. But not everyone would agree with that assessment in his native Hungary. When Gulek C was reminded of what he did the previous Saturday, he shut his eyes and started nodding while offering something between a smile and grimace. Gulek C made two big errors in Hungary's 52 defeat to Switzerland in Basel. The first saw him lose his balance and fall over after receiving a back pass, leaving Arsenal's granite jacker to tap into an empty net from a couple of yards out. And if that wasnt bad enough, he then attempted to tip a shot over the bar at the start of the second half but instead dropped the ball into his own net. I apologise to the dressing room to my teammates, and I'm sorry to the fans as well, Gulick C said after the Dortmund game. One week on, the former Liverpool youngster made the difference in an altogether more positive way for RB Leipzig. I had made two important saves already in the first half and then one in the second half, so of course it's good for my soul, Gulaxi told the set pieces. It was a hard couple of days after the Hungary game but you know we are professionals, so this could happen once in a while. Hopefully it will never happen again but the best thing is to get out on the pitch and play well. Embed from Getty Images he certainly did that on Saturday, particularly when he had to face Pierre Emerick Obama Yang in a one-on-one -on -one situation on four different occasions. A horrific back pass from Stefan Ilsanka allowed Obama Yang to race through and beat Gulek C in their first encounter, before the keeper denied the division's top scorer the next time he bore down on goal. Rounds 3 and 4 followed in the second half as Obama Yang converted past Gulek C from the penalty spot to make it 32. It was a scoreline the Hungarian then preserved in the 92nd minute as Obama Yang, with 67 goals in his last 71 Bundesliga games, raced through on goal but found Gulek C standing firm. Pete has shown not just this season but last season, and the year before last, that helps a great goalkeeper, teammate Yusuf Polson told the set pieces. He has saved us many times, especially today, HES so fast off his line. Indeed there would have been a fifth one-on-one -on -one between Gulek C and Obama Yang just before half-time had the goalkeeper not positioned himself high up the pitch, where he cleared a through ball that Obama Yang had already begun to hair after. This mixture of pace, awareness and his ability to make the stay a go. Decision, as sporting director Ralph Rangnick has described it, is what makes him particularly valuable to Leipzig, given the frequency with which they press their opponents and leave gaps behind, a high-risk tactic, made riskier if you don't have the right tools to do it. Pete is an underrated goalkeeper, says Paulson, the scorer of Leipzig's second goal in an impressive victory. A good goalkeeper takes the things he has to take and a great goalkeeper also takes the things he doesn't have to. Pete has shown today that he made a save which not every goalkeeper would make. Paulson has a point. When you hear people talking about the Bundesliga's best goalkeepers, Gulek C rarely features in the conversation. Scan down the names of last season's best shot stoppers from Kicker magazine and you won't find him in the top 10. That seems peculiar when he only made one big mistake last season, giving away a penalty away to Bayern Munich with Leipzig already 20 down at that stage. Rather than handing out player ratings on a scale of 1 to 10, in Germany you now get marks known as Noten ranging from 1 to 6. Get a 1, or a note I end, and it means you've aced it. Score a 6 and you probably should have stayed at home. For example, Gulek C received a 5 from kicker after his error against Bayern. If, come the end of the season, you're averaging under a note 3, then you've had a good campaign. Gulek C2, 89 note the comma as opposed to a bullet point because, well, Germany was one of four RB Leipzig players to do so last season alongside Emil Forsberg 2, 70, Timo Werner 2, 77 and Naby Keita 2, 78. 
That trio are very much their usual suspects when it comes to discussing who the team's star performers have been over the past year or so. It is a show of Leipzig's strength that they won in Dortmund with Forsberg and Werner on the bench for the entirety, while Keita was substituted at half-time. Instead, it was the likes of Marcel Sabitzer, Jean-Kevin Augustin and winger Brumer who shone for Leipzig as they put in a performance of title contenders at the Signal Iduna Park. Embed from Getty Images worthy of a mention too was the 18-year-old centre-back playing just in front of Gulek C, Deo Upamakano. He gave away a penalty in the second half after clipping the heel of Obama Yang but, as Ralph Rangnick told the set pieces, it's difficult to remember another occasion when he put a foot wrong. Apart from the penalty, he made an almost perfect match today, said Rangnick. I think he didnt lose a single one-on-one -on -one situation. Of course the penalty was a little bit unlucky because he crossed the path of Obama Yang in that situation but, apart from that, bearing in mind HES only 18, HES an outstanding player. Upamecano was left out of the France under-21 squad over the international break, something that still seemingly perplexes Rangnick. At his age, HES one of the best central defenders in Europe but, obviously, people in France don't see it that way because he has not even been part of the under-21 squad. So maybe I have a different opinion than other people. Rangnick was almost incredulous when he was asked why he rates up Amakano so highly. Because his mentality is good, his physical condition is extraordinary. He is extremely fast, as fast as Obama Yang and, on the ball, he also improves day by day. I think the best and the most important asset is his mentality. Rangnick doesn't want him leaving any time soon. Independent from possible clauses and amounts, I am confident that he will stay here for as long as it makes sense for his career development, he said in an interview last week. His view that Upamecano will one day be able to play for any team in the world is echoed by Paulson He is going to be maybe one of the top five central defenders in the world. He is so fast, so strong, so clever. Gulixi talked about Upamecano's great maturity, a fair statement given that he is already a regular in a Champions League team as a teenager. Gulixi on the other hand has come a long way since his formative years. At 18, he was on loan at the likes of Tranmere Rovers and Hereford United. Now he is starring at the top of the Bundesliga. Embed from Getty Images Liverpool-bound Naby Keita returned to the Leipzig lineup against Dortmund having served a three-match suspension. The international break saw the midfielder sent off again, this time for Guinea in a 41 defeat to Tunisia in which he also opened the scoring. He has learned his lesson, said Ralph Hasenhuttle in the build-up to Leipzig's game at Dortmund. But come half-time, Hasenhuttle was quick to make a change. Keita had been his usual energetic self, making his mark on the game as fans became accustomed to in Germany last season. He tracked back, won the ball and initiated Leipzig's attacking moves. However, a quarter of an hour into the match he was a fraction too late in a tackle on Nuri Zahin. Catching the Dortmund midfielder on the shin, Keita earned a yellow card, and 20 minutes later it looked for a moment like he was about to walk again after a foul on Andrei Yarmolenko. Referee Dennis Aitekin decided against awarding a second yellow card and, soon after, Hazen Huttle decided against a second half for Keita, who was replaced by Diego Demma. He remains remarkably talented but Keita perhaps needs to curb his enthusiasm as he continues to develop his game before joining Liverpool next summer. Read about the time Pierre Emerick Obama Yang face Newcastle non-league side Heaton Stan FC for a friendly with Gabon ahead of the 2012 Olympics.